Hey guys, this is Cheyenne and in this video, I'm gonna solve aggressive calls from Spudge. So, well, let's get started. This is the problem, aggressive calls from Spudge. This problem says that assume that we have n cows and we want to choose C of them. All the cows are in the X axis. We want them to have the maximum distance from each other. So we want that the cows that we choose be in a way that the minimum distance between them would be maximum. So we want to maximize the minimum distance between any two cows. Well, when we see a problem like this, the first thing that should come to our mind is using binary search. Most of times, when we want to minimize our maximum or maximize our minimum, we need to do binary search. In here, we want to maximize our minimum. Why binary search will be useful in here? The reason is that when I have a binary search on B and I want to find out that can my answer be greater than or equal to D or not, the point is that I will be sure that all my numbers should be greater than or equal to D. So if I have K imaginary numbers, for example, B1, B2 to BK, there, these are some random imaginary numbers. And I want to see that is their minimum greater than or equal to D or not. It means that all of them should be greater than or equal to D. Each one of these numbers should be greater than or equal to D. So that's the reason that we tend to use binary search. So we see that you want to maximize our minimum and we start to think about binary search. And we say that, okay, as so we fix some value d and we want our minimum to be greater than or equal to d which means that all our numbers should be greater than or equal to d now for each cow i want to have a dp dp of i such that dp of i means what is the maximum number of cows that i can choose if the last one is cow number i the distance to the next cow should be greater or equal to D. So I have an upper bound that which cows are the cows that I can choose before this cow. There are some cows that I cannot choose them anymore if my last cow is cow number I. So I have to find out that what is the maximum DP in this part. And DP of I will be the maximum of this DP is plus one. Well, in order to do that, I can again have another DP, for example, DP2, such that DP2 of I is the maximum of all the dps maximum of j from one to i dp of j that keeps the maximum of a prefix and i can say that then dp of i is going to be dp2 of this j which is the last cow that is distance to i is greater than or equal to d so my dp of i will be dp2 of j plus well two things well, in order to find dp2 of i, I just say that each time in order to calculate it, I say that dp2 of i is equal to maximum of dp of i and dp2 of i minus 1. Well, instead of this, I can just use dp and don't define dp2 at all. And each time after I calculated dp, I can simply say that dp of i is equal to maximum of dp of i and dp of i minus 1. This way, I can have the dp itself as my dp2 because when I pass over some dp then I don't need that dp anymore. I need the maximum of all dps until that point. I never call dp of i. I want dp2 of i. So I don't need dp of i anymore so I can make itself the maximum of dp of i and dp of i minus 1. This changes our definition. Instead of the last one is cow number i, now the last cow is the cow number less than or equal to i. The last cow can be cow number 1, it can be cow number 2, and it's coming cow number three and so on. And our final answer is going to be that I will compare dp of n with c. If dp of n was greater than or equal to c, it means that I can choose c cows such that the distance of each two of them is greater than or equal to d. And do not forget that when we're comparing each two consecutive cows, if their distance is greater than or equal to d, then this distance of each two pair is greater than or equal to d. And if it was like that, then it is possible. So I set my low equal to D. Otherwise, if it wasn't like that, I set my high equal to D. And in order to find the last J such that the distance from J to I is greater than or equal to D, I can simply use the two pointers technique. I can just have a pointer that whenever I'm on I, I already know that for I minus one, what was the last cow that the distance from that cow to I minus one was greater than or equal to D. When I reach I, I keep moving this pointer forward as much as I can. 
So each time I compare the next cow with I. If the distance was greater than or equal to D, I just move this pointer forward. This way, this pointer only moves forward. And the number of times that it goes to the right is limited because I have limited number of cows. And this pointer never goes left, it always goes right. So I will have at most n moves, O of n moves. And to be precise, n minus 2 at most. But anyways, it's going to be O of n moves at most. So these operations of moving it rightwards wouldn't take long in total. Therefore, I simply find this j and my dp of i is going to be dp of j plus 1. And then dp of i max equal to dp of i minus 1. And max equal to is not a C++ operation. I'm just using that for explanation. And it means that dp of i is equal to maximum of itself and dp of i minus 1. Was that clear? Let me know in the comments below. So let's get into code. Okay, n is up to 10 to the 5th. Int n x of n. So seen n. First, I get all the positions of the cows. I also should define my t and my c. And we define n, c, and positions, and also our dp, and then we see in n, c, and all the xi's. Now we should have a binary search in order to find out our answer. We know that our answer is at least zero because the distances will be at least zero. So that's okay. Zero is always okay. And high can be my aim. Aim as one in nine plus 20. I can say while high minus low was greater than one, I say int of mid equal to low plus high divided by two. And then I define my PTR, which is the last point. This, this is my J, the last point that it's this says to I is greater than or equal to D. Then I should have four. And each time I say that, First, dp of i is equal to 1, because in the worst case scenario, this code could be chosen alone. And then while x of i minus x of ptr plus 1 was greater than or equal to meet ptr plus plus. While the next cow, the distance of next cow from our current cow is greater than or equal to meet at ptr y1. And then we can say that if ptr was not equal to minus 1, dp of i is equal to dp of ptr plus 1. We could also say equal to maximum of dp of ptr plus 1 and dp of i, but dp of i because it is already 1, it is obviously less than or equal to dp of ptr plus 1. And then dp of i is equal to maximum dp of i and dp of i minus 1. And I should say if i was not zero. And at the end, I can simply say that if dp of n minus 1 was greater or equal to c low equal to meet, it is possible. Do not forget that low is something that is always possible, and high is the first thing that is not possible at all. We're sure that it's not possible. Low is possible, high is impossible. This value of meet is possible. So it says low equal to meet and else we set high equal to meet. So low is the maximum number which is possible. So I just need to see out low at the end. Our list is not in the, in the sorted order, so we should also source them x, x plus n. Now let's run this code. It's giving us three, which is correct. Let's submit it. and see what happens. Accept it. So, that was all. See you in the next video. Shia.